Do you guys want to know why Erling Haaland is one of the most dangerous players in the world right now? Do you want to know why defenders are so terrified by the mere sight of him? Come with me and I'll show you in this video. The lad is just 22, but he has already destroyed some really elite defenders in his young career. I'm talking some all-time greats. You want to know who the biggest victims of Haaland are? I'll tell you in a bit, but quickly go give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All done? Now, let's get to it. So many options to pick from, but let's start with one of the most recent ones. Do you guys remember what he did to Dio Upamecano in the Champions League quarterfinal against Bayern? He made him sit on the floor before then going on to score a brilliant goal right in front of the Bayern fans. And just in case you want to act like Upamecano isn't elite, I'll remind you that he was the only French defender who played the full 120 minutes in the 2022 World Cup final. That's how much coaches trust him. The boy is solid, but Haaland made him look like a novice. And guess what? That wasn't even Haaland's first time destroying the Frenchman. Back when he was at Dortmund and Upamecano was at Leipzig, he made Upamecano sit on the floor and scored on his head again. Nah, Haaland is such a menace, man. I'm pretty sure Upamecano sees him in his nightmares. But I think Haaland has been a bigger menace in the Premier League so far. What he did to defenders in his first season in a league where some critics said he would struggle was nothing short of mind-blowing. Yes, he got a record number of goals in perhaps the best league in the world in just his first season there. But the way he went about getting some of them was just staggering. For example... Look at what he did to Adam Webster on his way to scoring against Brighton. He just shoved the guy away like he was a feather. You look at that and you wouldn't know that centre back on the floor is a 6 foot 3 man who weighs 165 pounds. But if you think Haaland bodying one centre back was insane, how about when he bodied two at the same time? To complete his first ever Premier League hat trick in his third game of the season against Crystal Palace. It's like there's a force field around him. You just cannot touch him. But wait, did I hear some of you say he was never able to do any of this against the big six in the Premier League? Well, if you're of that opinion, this ought to shut you up. The way he absolutely eradicated Joe Gomez before scoring against Liverpool was one of the craziest things ever. Gomez, and as a matter of fact, the entire Liverpool defence, could do absolutely nothing to stop him. On a different occasion, it was Andrew Robertson who was at the receiving end of Haaland's brutality. The Liverpool man ended up on the floor while Haaland was still firmly on his feet and even went on to attempt a shot on goal. Now, did I hear someone say that that could never be Virgil van Dijk? Well, it was actually van Dijk before it was even Gomez and Robertson. When Norway met the Netherlands in the World Cup qualifiers in September 2021, it was Haaland who opened the scoring. And guess who ended up on the floor? Yes, your favourite defender, Virgil van Dijk. But I promise you, this gets even better. Haaland is so good that he has destroyed even his own teammate, Ruben Diaz. Oh yes, Ruben Diaz is arguably the best centre-back in the world right now. But in 2021, he was perhaps even better. He was the outright best player in the Premier League and he has the FWA Footballer of the Year and Premier League Player of the Season awards from that year to show for it. He was also named Champions League Defender of the Season in 2021. But who do you think is the one striker who destroyed him that same year? Of course, it was Erling Haaland. Once again, Haaland had a top, top defender on the floor, while he remained on his feet like the valiant Viking that he is. The guy is so good that defenders these days resort to fouling him to try and stop him. Remember when he did this to Gabriel in the game against Arsenal? Knowing he was pretty powerless against Haaland, the next time Gabriel went up against the Norwegian, he tried to stop him by pulling him down when he saw that he had already gotten past him. Gabriel was only saved by VAR there. If not, that would have been a clear penalty. You don't mess with Haaland. And when I say you don't mess with Haaland, I really mean it. You know why? Because if you do, you might be the one who ends up injured. And nah, I'm not joking at all here. If you don't believe me, you can ask Joshua Kimmich. In one of those De Classica games between Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich, Kimmich found himself chasing Haaland. And knowing that he could not keep up or stop him legally, the German decided to resort to illegal means to stop Haaland. 
He threw out his leg in a bid to hack Haaland down. But guess what? Haaland only just stumbled a bit, but he kept running. Meanwhile, Kimmich remained on the ground in need of medical attention. He was in so much pain that the medics had to come in and get him off the pitch. Now, do you understand why many people think this guy was made in a lab? He is the Terminator. And you know what's even crazier about this whole thing? That's not even the only time that something like that has happened. It happened again when Haaland was playing for Norway. This time around though, the defender succeeded in actually bringing Haaland down, but the striker very quickly bounced back up. Meanwhile, the defender could not even get back up to his feet and had to leave the pitch in a stretcher. Oh, and that didn't stop the referee from showing the defender the red card though. I guess this is what the kids call double homicide. But honestly, is Erling Haaland even real? And do you know that this guy can destroy a defence without even touching anybody? Oh yes, he can. He is so fast that all he has to do sometimes is just outrun them and they're dust. Take a look at this incredible goal for example. So, he is a machine and a speedster on top of that. Goodness gracious, what a player. In this video, we have seen Haaland put the likes of Kimmich, Van Dijk, Upamecano, Robertson and Ruben Diaz on the floor. These are some all-timers man, but you know what? There's still one true great missing. I decided to save the best for last. The one time Erling Haaland put the great Sergio Ramos on the floor. See, Ramos is not only regarded as one of the best centre-backs of all time, he is also said to be one of the most aggressive ever, you know, the one guy you can't mess with. But when he went up against Haaland, the boy put him on the floor. Take a look at this. You know what's really crazy about this one? Haaland was only a teenager here while Ramos had already sealed GOAT status. How strong really is Erling Haaland? See, the point here is really simple. Whoever you are, Haaland can surely find his way around you, whether he dribbles you, bullies you, runs past you, or whether you can even try to hack him down. 9 out of 10 times, you will be the one who ends up on the floor. You know why? Because that's just what Erling Haaland does. He destroys defenders for a living. I'm sure defenders all around Europe see this guy in their dreams. Anytime he's in the starting lineup against them, they already know it's spooky season. And if he's not destroying the defender one-on-one, -on -one, he's flying high in the sky just to put insane goals like this one against Dortmund, contorting his body just to put the ball in the back of the net like he did here against Schalke, or just ripping defences apart to score solo goals from outside the box like this against Wolves. Haaland is just one of a kind, man. But I have a question for you now. Do you think this guy deserves the Ballon d'Or? Leave your answer in the comments.